Welcome back to some more Pokemon Gold. In the last episode, we finished off the 8th gym. We got the Dragon Scale. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and grab a few things on our way towards the Elite Four. We got a few things we got to get, actually. Well, actually, whew, quite a bit. I think there's like 15-ish items. Stop running into a wall, me. Jeez, Louise. I still haven't learned how to play. Alright. Whenever we get out here, Professor Elm is going to call us. And let's see what uh, Professor Elm has to say. Hello, Gold. I I have something here for you. Could, could you swing by my lab? I'll see you later. He never gives me a time to answer, you know. He just says what he's saying and then hangs up on me. Okay. Let me grab a couple things. I gotta get a Pokemon that can learn Flash. Okay, I got a, I got myself a Pokemon with Flash, so we can go ahead and head on over to the Dark Cave. This is the last part of the Dark Cave. We did do the rest of it, uh, but we couldn't get these last few items because we have to get them from the Blackthorn side. I grabbed a Pokemon who could learn Flash, Whirlpool, and Waterfall because later on I'm going to need all three. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Wobbuffet. I hate Wobbuffet. I like to play Nuzlocks, and my favorite one to play Nuzlocke on is, um, no, don't give him a nickname. Is, is, uh, Pokemon X and Y. So I always end up coming up to that cave with Wobbuffet, and Wobbuffet always takes out one of my Pokemon. I hate Wobbuffet. With a passion. Alright, so if we go on down here, we're going to get ourselves a couple of items, if I can not run into a wall. Here we go. We got a revive. And one more item to the left. Well, there's two more items, but one more right over here. And I, again, I'm going to learn to walk. One of these days, I'll learn to Pokemon. TM13, which is Snore. Yes, it is Snore. I, hmm. I might give it, I might, I might give it to Bull. Because I believe he has Rest and Sleep Talk. So Snore would be another good move to give to him. I don't know. Alright, and then we got this blue-haired dude over here. Whoa, you startled me there. I had my black glasses on, so I didn't notice you at all. What am I doing here? Hey, don't you worry about it. I'll give you a pair of black glasses, so forget you saw me. Okay? Gold received the black glasses. Alright. I don't have any Pokemon that that's going to be any good for, but... The black glasses power up the power... Uh, power up, up the power of dark type moves. I was having a hard time listening to you there, buddy. Don't know why. All right, let me get to the exit. All right. I got a couple Pokemon to grab here. Let me grab them real quick. There we go. Okay, thank you. Teddy Ursa is not fun. Teddy Ursa can... Boy. He, she, he can just run away. Had that happen to me more than I really care to admit. So I am nowhere right now. I just came out of the dark cave and I came down here and I caught the Pokemon. If actually let me use a repel before I run into a bunch more Pokemon. Alright. So if we head on down this way, we have a elixir. An elixir. If we follow the path I'm going, we will not have to uh, come down this more than once. We'll be able to grab every item. We got a max potion right here. Make sure you drop down right here, otherwise you're going to end up having to fight that lady right there. And then we have, I believe it is an X special. X special, yes. X special, you're just going to be sold. Head on down to the left here. We've got ourselves a revive, and we have one more item. Just one more. 
head on over this way. For some reason, there's a hidden item inside the water. Don't know why. This must be a very shallow pond, but there is a hidden PP up right here. Also, there's a bush right there, but I don't... I don't need the item, or the, the, the bushes thingies. Okay, I'm gonna meet you back at Professor Elm's lab. Let's see what he wanted from me. Oh, repel wore off. Oh, hi, Gold. Uh, th thank you. My research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. The Master Ball. I'll take it. Uh, the Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate ball. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. It's given only to recognized Pokemon researchers. I didn't know I was recognized. I think you can make better use of it than I can, Gold. Alright, I mean, I would have liked that Pokemon right there. You know, that Pokemon right there. But, you know, that Pokemon right there. Hint, hint, give me that Pokemon right there. But, no, I guess... Actually, I already have that Pokemon, don't I? I traded for that Pokemon. Yes, I did. I'm not going to visit my mom, even though I'm back in town after a couple months. I'm not visiting my mom. She keeps spending my money. I'm not happy with her. Oh, my repel wore off. Let me put another repel on. I always forget repels wore off. Ah! Hey! Do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. Check your pokey gear and see. I don't care. Stop screaming at me. Alright, so we're gonna head on down here first. This is not the correct way to go, but there's an item over here, and there's actually... It's a really good item. Oh, let me, uh... I don't know why I always press down when I'm going to the right. L I did it again. I did it again. Rare candy. That gives us like five or six, something like that. And gold, or not gold, uh, we're playing gold. In blue, I've got I think like 13 right now. There's actually quite a bit of rare candies in Pokemon Gold and Red. red uh, gold and Red. Oh my gosh. Red and blue. Red and blue. Red and blue. There we go. Red and blue. Alright, so let's head on over here to the left before we actually go up that waterfall is we have a moonstone a moonstone i'll take it how many moonstones do i have i think that might be my first one i can't remember i know where all the moonstones are in red and blue but i can never remember where they are in gold and silver there actually only might be one in no there's two two in gold and silver right maybe i don't know okay let me try not to yes i got by her this time i never get by her i always just kind of stop right in front of the thing and then she looks at me and I end up having to fight her for no reason other than I'm being an idiot. Let me put Cindy up front. I don't know what if all my Pokemon love me or not. Where are you off to with Pokemon? The Pokemon League. Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. Ah, your Pokemon trust you very much. It's nice to see a good trainer. Here, a gift for your journey. TM37, which should be Sandstorm. So it's not really going to be much use to me. Uh, TM37 happens to be the Sandstorm. It's a move that inflicts damage on both battlers. Does it uh, hurt ground types in this game? I, I don't think it does. I don't think that... I, I think that was something that started as soon as Sandstorm came into the game it's for advanced trainers only use it if you dare good luck why is it for advanced trainers only okay you're i can predict your move yes i got by her i always have to battle her i know exactly what team she has because i always have to battle her ah i'm running into walls like ah uh, you're mandatory dang it strong oh wait you must have said something else I wasn't paying attention. I was just mashing A under my desk. What do you have? Blake? Balake? Magneton. You are Steel type, right? Second gen is when Steel type came around, I think. Well, let's find out. I'm gonna take that as a yes, or I didn't realize fire type hurt electricity, which I know that's not the case. What else do we have? A Quagsire. Okay. 
You have Thunder Punch, but he is ground type, so let's send in Sunny. Your Absorb sucks, but it's four times effective against Quagsire. I love saying them Quagsire. Quagsire. Alright, Sunny. You really need to get like six more levels. I'm about to use my rare candies on you just so I can evolve you. I want you to evolve. I want your evolution. Special defense went up. That's fine. That's fine. I don't think you're going to survive this. Yeah. A bye bye. A quagsire. What else do we have? Hmm. Execute. You are... Oh, goodness. Are you Grass Poison or are you Grass Psychic? I don't know. Let's just go with Cindy because I know you're weak against Fire at, at the very least. Does Execute become Psychic after it evolves? Or is it always Psychic type? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, Executor, that'd be a cool Pokemon to use. Maybe later on. Maybe later on, you know. What do we got? Yo. Yep. That's how I felt when I had to battle you. I'm going to go down this way because I... Trainer, yes, he's up there. Aha, I got by you. Look at me. Oh, crap, I got Pokemon to catch. I got Pokemon to catch. Dang it. Uh, how many do I have to catch? I don't even know. Let's see. Two? Two. And they're both 5%. Wonderful. Wonderful! TM22. Solar Beam. Because I'm looking at my notes right now. Yes. Okay. I'm not talking to you. You might give me something, but I don't... I'm not chancing it. Nuh-uh. Nope. Let's see. I can get by you. Haha. Uh -huh. By you. Like, uh... Bye you. Bye you, as in, see you later. Bye you. You being the name. Oh, no, what am I doing? I'm over here trying to make stupid jokes, and I can't even press A, and... Aha, I got by another person. Uh-oh. Man, I got four Pokemon to catch. I think I'm gonna call it here, because I don't really want to catch any more Pokemon at the moment. In the next one, I'm going to catch my Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and make it up to the cave. And maybe start working on the cave. I don't know. We'll find out in the next one.